Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla3D. In this tutorial, we're going to look over our last code for our user login and actually create some kind of a session for this user. What this session is, it, it stores the user's name and or it stores the user's ID that's created from a cookie. And this cookie is created from PHP's built-in session start. So basically, we have all our code here and we can throw in session underscore start. Now what this does is create this creates uh, a cookie on the user side and um, what this cookie does is it holds a really long ID and this ID is used to call back onto your server the session and what happens on your server is it holds a file with the, with the ID on it and it holds everything you want on the session within them. So it doesn't hold all their information on the client side, but actually the server. So let's go ahead and then do echo session underscore ID. And it's a function, not a variable. So now if we go and, and print it like we did, this is my session ID really weird characters um, doesn't make sense it's basically an ID created on my and it's on my computer right now that's all it's stored on my computer now let's say that I want it to create um, a function or not uh, create a variable and save that into my session for later use so now I can say that we use a dollar sign and then um, the underscore and session in all caps then we use square brackets and single quotes. And then we're going to type in what we want to store, saying um, a cat. And this, type, and this cat's name is Whiskers. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this echo. Or actually, I'm going to keep that there. Just, um, so now we're going to go back and refresh. And again, we still got the same ID. So we know that it's still carrying our same session. And then we can go ahead and just remove this echo session ID. And we are going to go ahead and remove this assignment that we did of the, the session of the cats. And then we're going to do echo session, or brackets, single quotes, and then cats. Uh, I forgot my semicolon. So now if we print it out, it should give us whiskers, as it did right here. And as you can see, uh, we can keep refreshing, and there's no more assignment here. That's what basically a session does. It keeps variables that you want to keep in there um, live on your entire site. As long as you have session start at the very top, you should have no problem um, accessing your variables. So before we begin, um, if you notice, with the code, uh, it says login failed, does not exist. Um, that shouldn't be showing even if we're not even attempting. So uh, we should have um, an if statement here saying if is set. Is set is a function to test if a function or if a variable is set. So we do if is set and underscore post. And then we're going to say. We're going to test the username if it's set. And then we'll go ahead and give it some brackets. And let's go ahead and indent this code. So now if we go ahead and refresh, as you can see, now this appears. And now if we attempt, it will now give us the failed login. All right, now if we look in our code, we're going to see that um, we want to this is uh, after we authentic authenticate the user saying yes this is valid we're gonna say yes blah 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 um, but we're also gonna do um, set our session here and we're gonna say session username equals username this is gonna be a very basic variable here Alright, so now we're going to go down to our HTML code and again put in some PHP tags. And within these PHP tags, we're going to have um, an if statement. So if 
um, is set again. So we're going to test if this variable is set. And we're testing if the username set, um, the session of username is set. So if it is set, then as you can see, I compress the, the code up here on, on a single line just because it makes it look nicer within the, the template or the, the HTML code. So if it is set, then we're going to put in some code here. So we're going to say, um, you are now logged in. And then we're going to uh, make another PHP set and then curly brackets. And then we're going to throw in an else. So if they're logged in, we're going to see you are logged in now. And if they're not logged in, then we're going to go ahead and give them the form, the login form. And again, we just end our um, our PHP with the curly brackets for the else. So now if we try to log in with Bob and one, two, three, this is now we are successfully logged in. Now if we come back here and we go ahead and refresh this page, we can't get the um, form login at all. The next thing you do is to log out. I'll show you how to log out in our next tutorial.